for Triple Two YouTube. It is back, and I'll tell you what, it is the best formation in the game right now. So how I set my team up in the 4 triple 2 is like so. But before we get started, guys, if you want to drop a like on today's video for me, drop a comment down below, hit that subscribe button to my channel. We are well on the way to 20k, so it means the world to me if you can hit that subscribe button. And also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. So, YouTube, the 4 triple 2 is back. The custom tactics that I use with the 4 triple 2 are like so. So, the defensive style... I do play balanced, okay? And balanced style, where your team presses the ball to the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral. I like that. I like to be in control of where my team is and you kind of thing. So, pressure on heavy touch and press after possession loss are definitely a viable option. But for me and for you guys, I just think balanced is always the best way to go on the defensive style. So, balanced it is. The width and the depth. This is where it does get a bit interesting, YouTube, okay? 47 width and 54 depth. I know it's random, all right, trust me, I know it's random, but when I talk about my custom tactics YouTube, you know, find that happy medium G-spot and King Bob is your uncle. So the 54 depth, what the depth does is it adjusts your defensive shape to be balanced to keep your team in the middle of the pitch to try and win the midfield battle. So you do know the higher up you go, obviously the higher the depth is, the higher your back four will push. Now with the four triple two, because of the two CDMs, you can patrol and when you are defending with the two CDMs, and when you are defending, you're going to want to control the two CDMs as much as you can when you are using the 4 triple 2 Because that's where you get the most protection in front of your back four. So, 47 width and 54 depth. And that's how to defend with the 4 triple 2 mainly is kind of use your two CDMs as much as you can. Don't really deviate too far away from them and you won't go far wrong. So, 47 width and 54 depth is definitely the way to go with the 4 triple 2 I've tried a lot of different numbers, but that's the numbers right now on this current patch that work the best. And YouTube, they do work on both new gen and old gen. So these custom tactics are a charm. So the offense, I do have it on balanced. I was actually experimenting with long ball. I was experimenting. So with the long ball tactic, the team will make runs for long ball into space behind the opposing back line or up to a target man. Strikers who are fast with a good attack positioning attributes are the best at this tactic. And I did actually enjoy the long ball. But when I then went back to the balanced, I just found the balance to be better, really. I, I just... When I'm using my custom tactics and I'm experimenting, because I do like to experiment for you guys to see if there's anything broken that's outside of the norm that works. Long ball is definitely a viable option. So I would recommend YouTube, actually. If you do struggle with the attacking side of the game in the 4 triple 2 I would recommend maybe using the long ball tactic. But for me, and if you guys are comfortable with having the two strikers and you know what to do kind of thing, I would probably say balance is the best. Balance is what I use, but I'm just thinking like if you do struggle with the attacking patterns and that, maybe give Lombo a go. But balance for me works. And YouTube, direct passing is back. Yes, you'll see me putting it on a couple of custom tactics now. It did go out of fashion for a little bit. I did think they did actually patch it a little bit. But then as the new patches have been rolling out, especially on the new patch that just happened a couple of days ago, Direct passing is back, YouTube, and it is overpowered. So, once the team enters the attacking zone with possession players, players will create chances by making runs for passes into space behind the opposing back line. Very important. I like to push my opponent's defence back. Strikers who are fast with a good attacking positioning attributes are the best at this tactic. So, direct passing, YouTube. It is back. Believe me, believe me, believe me. I really enjoy the direct pass, and I think it's probably... The best addition that they've made this year to the custom tactics. It just helps in terms of the attacking attributes. The width YouTube, random I know, but 53. Okay, the reason for this, like I always say, I experiment a hell of a lot. Like, trust me, YouTube. In terms of, like, the numbers and stuff like that, I experiment so, so, so much with custom tactics. But 53 is definitely the vibe. Adjust your offensive team shape to be balanced for generic positioning to give you more varied attacking options. So what this means is YouTube is my lamb and my ram are just ever so slightly wider than in that central position. And that's good for when it comes to the finesses on the edge of the box and for actually then just general wing play. So 53 for me works best. And if it works best for me, trust me, it will work best for you. So 53 is the vibe. Players in the bot YouTube, you should know by now. By the way, what the players in the box does is, when in the crosses zone, you will have some players making runs into the penalty area if it's the right time to make the run. So, I have it on seven. There's no real overthinking behind this. I just think the more players I have in the box, the more likely I am to score a goal. That's kind of like the thinking that I have with players in the box. The more players in the box, the more likely you are to get the rebound from the shot, and the more likely you are just to score the goal, right? That's just general my general thinking behind it. By the way, YouTube, can we rate my drip? Out of 10. Come on. Like, we've got the chain on. 
We've got the top on. We've got the watch. Rate the drip out of 10. Rate the trim. Trim, I haven't actually hit. The trim's like over two weeks old now, so it's expiring a little bit. We need, need to go back to the trim, but rate the drip out of 10, yeah? But yeah, anyway, back to the, back to the uh, YouTube, the custom tactics and YouTube, you should know by now. If you're going to take anything from the video, lower the corners and free kicks down from three and three to two and two. Trust me, trust me, trust me. It will stop you getting counter-attacked on so, so, so much. And it's just a more balanced style. So that right there is the custom tactics for the 4 triple two. Drop a comment down below if you want to tweak anything, of course. And I will let you know. How I set my team up in the 4 triple two is like so. Obviously, the back four stays the same. Hakimi, Marquinhos, Cannavaro, Cancelo, Hullet and Kante as my two CDMs, of course. Pele and Mbappe as the Lamb and the Ram. Puskas and R9 as the two strikers. I'll tell you what, Puskas, by the way, YouTube. Wow, what a player. So, player instructions, YouTube. I put stay central on my striker. Get in behind and come back on defence. Okay, stay central means that the strikers will stay in the central areas of the pitch. Very important. I want that. The get in behind means that they will make forward runs in behind the defence. Again, very important. I want that. And then the comeback on defence is that they will always try and trap back to support the defence. The comeback on defence YouTube is actually to kind of close that gap. You see the gap here between the two CDMs and the two strikers? We want to close that gap as much as we can for easier passing lanes. So the comeback on defense is actually an attacking move rather than a defensive move. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me. And I have both of them on both my strikers. So stay central, get in behind, and come back on defense. I have that on both my strikers, okay? On my ram and my lamb, I have come back on defense. And again, this is always to try and trap back and support the defense. And I have get into the box for cross. I was actually thinking of putting them on free roam for the position in freedom, but... When I've used it, sometimes I don't particularly like it. So, this is where it does get interesting, though. So, I do have one of them on free roam. I was experimenting with both of them on free roam. So, for me, I have my Pele on free roam. And then I have my Lamb on comeback on defense and just get into the box for cross. So, I would recommend trying one of them on free roam and see what you think. I really like it and it works for me. So, give it a go. Put one of your cams on free roam. But, 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 but. Put both of them on come back on defense and get into box across. I have YouTube literally just completely default settings on my two CDM. So literally just cover center. That's the only thing I put on. If you do struggle defensively, definitely put one of them on stay back while attacking and you won't go wrong with that. I then have stay back while attacking on both my fullbacks. And then I do have comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there, YouTube is my updated post patch. 4 triple 2 custom tactics for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please, please, please make sure to drop a like on it. Drop a comment down below. Please hit that subscribe button to my channel. We are so close to 20k, man. We are so, so, so close. Let's do it. And also, hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. Remember, guys, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.